Hi everyone, Matt here from Exploring Alternatives. In this video, we're meeting up with Melissa and Julian. They're gonna give us a full tour of their camper van. They're gonna talk to us about their really cool Go Van project. And they're also gonna share some of their road tripping stories. I would say my favorite thing would be waking up with a different morning view, yeah. waking up by the beach. Simple, you know, you don't need that much. You know, it's, yeah. I've left Montreal uh, January 15 and uh, left uh, towards uh, Mexico. Uh, so I spent the whole uh, winter on the road, which was amazing. Many people have, that have been there before with their vans uh, told me about uh, corrupt uh, policemen, but nothing happened. We just yeah. got back from Nova Scotia. This is something I've been uh, that was in my mind uh, for a long time because uh, for surfing is getting more and more popular. There's a big band community there as well. What was your, your favorite part? And it was Cabin Trail. Mountainous views and it's just insane. It's really a hidden a hidden gem. The people I, I was meeting were so interesting and everyone had their own stories and I was like, all right, maybe there's something cool to do there to, uh, to launch a platform that would uh, unite all these, uh, all these cool stories and give a, a voice for uh, all of them to share stories. So nice. this is why Golan exists now. So. Yeah. I think uh, he's lucky and I'm lucky because I'm really like nomadic at heart and uh, I don't like to stay in the same place for too long. And uh, when I first saw his website, I didn't know him yet and I was just like completely felt connected right away with the whole movement and the whole uh, lifestyle that it had. Mm -hmm. And so my first trip, I think he looked at me and he's like, yeah, okay, she's hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Does Jack like the van? He loves the van and he's definitely the perfect size because, you know, he doesn't take up space. He's a very quiet dog. He sleeps a lot. I'm going to show you a little tour. So, with my friend Jason, I rebuilt uh, the, the floor. The thing that I love a lot about the van is the, uh, the blue velvet material. Obviously, each van is unique. That's another thing that I really love about the vans. It's all you know, wood, and this is all uh, original. I first bought the, the Go Zero, which is super useful, and, and this uh, little fridge. And I built this uh, furniture, so you know that's why the uh, dimensions are perfect for these <laughs> for these two, you know. Cables, uh, toiletries. Yeah. When we uh, do work uh, from the road, can be for editing, could be for uh, any type of uh, working, really. But uh, this uh, this furniture can also reveal a desk, or it can can also be uh, you know, for just having dinner or to cook or whatever. And when you're done, just fold it. The, the surf was a big, uh, not an issue, but it was, they were always like hanging here and everything. So uh, we thought of just, hey, why not just uh, hang the boards from the, from the top, you know? Yeah. Up here goes uh, all the spices and uh, there's uh, all the, some food, you don't need to be in the uh, fridge. This used to be uh, the, the TV. I thought it would be more useful to uh, make it a uh, spice rack. Down here, always keeping a cruiser. There's some more storage here too, with suits and everything that was there. More storage. Uh, let's do a hang, to hang uh, any, any clothes. We wake up, sometimes you like, poof, you just go. <laughs> and then there's uh, the cockpit. Oh, Jack, what are you doing there? He's a badass chihuahua. Hey, say hi. After a long surf session, you know, just can sit down, enjoy the water, enjoy the ocean with your girlfriend. Make a little food, a little sandwich or something. I don't live in my van right now. Um, I think I, I would in a, maybe a, a little bigger van. For me, it's fun to have some home base at some point, but uh, then to go on some trips, uh, it can be, you know, a few months on the road. This one's yeah. not fully equipped yet, I find yeah. too. It's more of like a living room aspect and it's fun, but we, we encountered a few situations this summer when we were traveling and when we were more like city-based where yeah. you don't have a kitchen or water or bathroom or shower mm -hmm. facilities. Mm -hmm. So that's when we found like, we found ourselves in New York City or Boston and we're like, oh, okay, like <laughs> this is definitely not equipped for permanent van life situation. When we are on the road, um, 
I try never to, to sleep in campsite in campgrounds or campsites. Obviously to save money, but also because it forces you to find a spot. And, and better views too. And a better view, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a few items that I uh, use all the time. First, coffee or whatever, to heat up a, uh, a chili or whatever. The, the dread boil, two minutes and uh, it boils water. I use this, uh, it's uh, Nemo who does that. It's uh, the Helio uh, portable shower. So basically, so you fit it up with water, obviously, and it's a little foot pump, and uh, it, it could last all, all for uh, seven minutes. Since it's black, if you leave if you leave it on the on the rooftop, it can war warm up a little bit. And I just received these uh, to fit with my uh, Gold Zero battery, so I can't wait to uh, install them. So thanks for watching. If you want to find out more about the Govan project, we put a link down below in the description of the video. They also gave us some really nice t-shirts, some stickers, and a really neat little Govan booklet. And that can also all be found on our website. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe.